Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to introduce you with this R image, basically the Sentinel-1 images. I have the downloaded images, they are here. I'm gonna open it in the snap and show you how to do the pre-processing to make these images for the ready for the analysis. We don't need to extract the images, just uh, keep your downloaded image as it is in the zip format, just select it. I have two images here, I'm selecting the one to open. This one, open, it is opening. Once it is opening, just click in the plus sign here. There are a number of informations in the metadata, vector data, uh, type point grids and uh, quick looks. Basically in the metadata we can get uh, lots of uh, informations that are related to the images. Vector data shows the its uh, spatial extensions. Then are uh, like uh, type point grids are the points for the georeferencing. Here main data contains in the bands. We have the four bands here. Basically they are amplitude and intensity of VH and VB. Uh, basically, uh, we, they, we we consider there are two informations. Amplitude and intensity could be usable in many applications as interchangeably. Uh, we can work on it, okay? Uh, let's uh, open this image here. Visualize it. It is uh, loading, creating the images. Uh, well. Here. Perhaps you already are familiar with the snap interface, so we can zoom in and zoom out from here. I'm just uh, focusing the uh, image area and then looking around, see? Uh, this image is very difficult to interpret at the moment. We have to do some pre-processing steps, basically uh, we have uh, work in the geometric and radiometric calibrations to make the image interpretable. Basically first of all I'd like to show you how to uh, subset this image because this is the very big size of the image it is about the one GV and it takes long to process whole image and my interested area is the subset of this image I'm not interested for whole image so let's subset it first just click it here go to raster and then click the subset you will get this window you can drag this to increase or decrease the area well this southern part of this image is my interested area so this uh, rectangle with the blue color is my interested area i have selected it here and just click ok it creates the subset it's very fast, right? Go to the bands. Let's load amplitude fiat. See, this is my ROI, region of interest. If I select it here, you can see it's very large area, but but my ROI is uh, very small, so it takes uh, uh, much shorter time than processing whole image to demonstrate it here in this lecture series. Now I'm going to uh, calibrate it. Basically uh, calibration is done through the raster, radiometric calibrations and calibrate it. Uh, this is the interface here. Uh, here a processing parameter we have to select it VLs in VP. Uh, you uh, can generate the outcome images in the sigma naught, gamma naught, or beta naught bands. I'm interested only with the sigma naught at the moment. Here is the I.O. This is the input file. This is the just created subsetted file. This is the uh, file name that uh, uh, the processed calibrated image will be saved with that name. This is the image extension. I leave it as a default extension for the uh, snap and this is the uh, folder directory path I'm interested to uh, 
save this image here in this location I can run I can click just uh, run and it will calibrate it calibrated images uh, basically are very important uh, in different ways basically it it, uh, uh, it is uh, performed to create an image where the values of each pixel is directly related to the backscattering of the surface this process will help us uh, to to make it uh, uh, easy to analyze the images in the quantitative ways similarly it is very important to compare the images from the different sense sensors or modalities we adapted or processors or image acquired in the different times therefore calibrations and uh, geometric and radiometric calibrations are important basically radiometric calibrations that we have done at the moment is very uh, important to reduce uh, the uh, distortions like signal losses as it uh, the uh, wave uh, propagates non-uniform antenna pattern or the different in gains saturations or speckles let's see how will come it is processing and it's almost done Let's wait uh, for a few seconds. It is done. Close this window. Okay, small. Let me make it smaller. This also. This is the um, calibrated uh, image, radiometrically calibrated image. This is the calibrated image. Now there are some noise. So uh, let's make it uh, multi-look. So uh, it could help us to uh, reduce the speckle noise. Uh, let's do it. Click here in the multi-looking. Uh, this is the uh, directory where we are going to save this multi-look image this is the uh, file name this is the source image here and here is the processing parameter sigma not right for vh and vb and this is the number of uh, loops in the range and the azimuths right so i make it three by three uh, the effective uh, spatial resolution of the outcome image will be 30 meter before it was 10 meter right Okay, everything is fine. Just uh, check it. And then now it is ready. Click on. It will process uh, uh, the multi-locking. And the image is, uh, is uh, improved. Will will improve uh, uh, significantly in general. Let's see. It takes around two minutes or less than that. I think. This is done. Just click close. Then I open this. Okay, this is the outcome after multi look. We can see the quality here, right? There is a significant differences. The another level of processing for that is like a um, geometric. Uh, uh, calibration here we use the terrain correction go here geometric terrain corrections and range Doppler terrain corrections click here okay this is the input image the last one we use the calibration radiometric calibration multi loop and now the outcome will uh, be saved in this name uh, that append the tc means terrain correction this is the input file if uh, we can choose any of uh, the above file as well but uh, they will not eat the uh, image that we are expecting so we have to choose the last one this multi loop one so this is the directory path where we will save the image here we have to go to the processing parameter, select these two parameters. Here the important thing is 
we have the options to auto download the DEM or we can give the external DEM you can try with the auto download as well but currently I am giving the external DEM that I have saved in my PC just here click here uh, here is the DEM okay open now you can check or uncheck if you don't have a DEM just uncheck this one and continue process that will work but the precision may not be as good as giving the DEM here I check this means if any area that is outside the DEM will be masked out okay everything is fine just click here run it takes uh, another few minutes uh, let me explain about the geometric calibration geometric calibration is also very important to improve the uh, SARM is qualities basically this geometric calibration uh, will uh, improve the images improve the geometric distortions that are uh, due to slant range layover shadow or for shortening so the outcome image will be better than the current image in that will uh, that is uh, corrected for the uh, these distortions, slant trends, or layover, shadow, for sorting. Okay, it is done. Just close here. Let's see what I have. Sigma not. See, this is the outcome image I received. This is the VV and this is uh, VH, see, it is uh, radiometrically calibrated, uh, it is uh, terrain calibration, see, the um, coordinate of the image is also changed, like uh, this water body is here and this river is here, but here it is in the opposite side and then this range is also different, this uh, upper range is the mountainous area and this is the plain area, uh, here uh, the area part of the area in the south are uh, masked out because we didn't uh, give the DEM for that area so we got uh, the image in this shape this is because of the DEM size that we give now this image is ready for the analysis if you would like to convert this um, uh, sigma naught value to the DB just uh, right click here right click then go for the linear to from db click here yes it creates it and then click right click here linear to db to from db click here yes and it is the db apparently um you can see what is the differences so um uh, this is the image ready for the analysis now we can export it we can save it in the different formats different um, extensions and then process it or we can process it here as well like uh, we can perform several uh, raster operations let's say like uh, um, like classifications segmentations or we can export this value different ways we can perform the band maps or anything where you like so this is the pre-processing complete pre-processing steps for this sarimis